deep strike inside the 30,000 pound bunker buster's power. The new videos showing massive ordnance penetrators, 30,000 pound bunker buster bombs, offer more than just eye-catching visuals of concrete pulverizing in slow motion. They reveal the intersection of precision engineering, strategic planning, and the limits of even the most powerful conventional weapons. At first glance you see a sleek steel cylinder hurtling toward reinforced layers of concrete, only to punch clean through dozens of feet of material before detonating. Behind this spectacle lies careful design. The bomb's hardened casing must survive the brutal forces of impact, and its delayed fuse times the explosion for maximum underground effect. Modern GPS guidance keeps the weapon on target within mere meters, vital when the goal is to destroy deep-buried facilities without flattening an entire neighborhood above. Yet these tests also highlight practical challenges. Only a handful of aircraft, typically modified B-2 or B-52, can carry such immense loads. Airfields need extra-long runways and specialized support crews just to handle takeoff and landing. And flying these bombers into contested airspace requires air superiority and tankers for in-flight refueling, adding layers of logistical complexity. Viewed from a strategic angle, massive ordnance penetrators aren't about brute force alone. They're part of a broader toolkit aimed at deterring adversaries by demonstrating that even the most hidden sites can be reached. However, their rarity and the intense preparation they demand mean they'll be used sparingly, reserved for the highest value targets. In short, the footage is a window into 21st century warfare's blend of high-precision science and global logistics, reminding us that behind each thunderous blast lies months of planning, specialized hardware, and a carefully weighed decision about when and where to deploy such formidable firepower. Stay curious, stay connected, subscribe now for news update. Thanks for watching.